but we have to get the butane to work first. So we gotta do that first. Let's go try to do that. Just to make it work successfully at once. That would be good. Now, just like last time, we're gonna squeeze this in here. It's an endothermic reaction, meaning it takes heat away, uh, and that's why you're seeing all the frost here. I don't even see it in there. We just used the whole can. Where did it all go? Well, granted, is he just poured it in a bottle? Maybe we should just do that, and then. All right, Jennifer. We're gonna pour it out right before, the, right below the Jennifer. Okay. And then this, like right up above it. Yeah, this stuff evaporates super quickly. I feel pretty good about this. It's all right. I'm just gonna turn it over. Alright, now it's told just to turn it over very quickly. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. Okay, finally! Mission success! Woo! <laughs> it worked! Woo! Now I need to go get the bottle. Yeah, I don't even know if I saw where it went. It was just like, <laughs> I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Look at that frosty in the side. It's boiling, butane's boiling, and it's frosty in the side. How trippy is that? to do it just like that. I need to go get that bottle, I can't let her, but Grant Thompson, you're the man. Alrighty, that's ready to rock and roll. That is so weird looking. Ugh. It's so trippy. I love it. All right. butane is coming out the side it's too long of a turn so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this whole thing up here and I think this will actually hold it like right here and that way it'll be at the rotational axis uh, right in the center and that way the bottle won't have to move very long that way I can whip this thing around whoop, straight up Rotational axis was key. It's just all about like getting it to go faster. What's really interesting is if we look at the chair, um, it actually shot out frozen cola, and there's still frozen cola on the actual chair itself. We're gonna cut in half just so I can turn this thing quicker. It might be the chair, but maybe it's not. So, because um, I'm thinking about it, I want to be able to like hold it right here, you know, like just real quick. Whoop. So I'm gonna cut it right in half, right there. All right. If 
feels so light. It's so, I mean, it's one, it's actually visually light, but it, it actually weighs less. It feels so strange in your hand because you're looking at the liquid and you expect it to be like water and it's just really light. We're testing it if, uh, if we just use a different bottle but the same ratios. So the bottle on my left hand is about double the bottles we've been using. So we're gonna put double the butane and we're gonna see if we can get the same result. All right, in three, two, one. Holy crap! in soda all over the place. Um, that worked spectacularly. This experiment worked awesome. The actual butane rocket launcher, it worked okay. I mean, we got it to work, but it didn't go very far. It's not exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Um, but we learned that doubling the reactants, so doubling the butane, doubling the soda, and making the bottle bigger, definitely gives us a bigger reaction. So that was super cool. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. In the comment section below, let me know what other types of bottles would you use? What other things would you um, test with? Like, you know, another soda bottle, you know, a bigger bottle, a skinnier bottle. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button because we have new videos every week. And I'll see you guys really soon.